Okay, welcome back to another episode of Medieval Dynasty. Now, um, in the last episode, we managed to make ourselves a, uh, a club. Yes, a big club. <laughs> so we're going to see if it works. Um, I'm, I'm not quite sure exactly what we're supposed to be doing. We have a piggy over here. We're going to just see if we can club him to death. Uh, and what, what happens if we do? Ooh, can we club you? Uh, no, you're a you're female piglet. You're actually worth something. <clears throat> but we have this male hog. Right? It's a hog uh, piggy, right? The only problem I have is how, how do I how do I hit it? Do I have to hit it on the head? Do I do I have to do I have to stand real close to it? Um, what, what do I do? So so should we just give it a try? I guess we just give it a try, right? What what what? Why why can't we? <laughs> I am aiming for this guy. All right now he's just he's just standing up. He's just he's just fucking with me. Now he's going away. Oh, okay, bye bye. Hello, Dagmara. Coming to enjoy the sunlight, uh, sunshine. Oh, you're coming to look at me. Oh, not anymore. What 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 are you looking at? Oh, you're just creeping me out. Okay, anyways, let's check. If we have anything to do, since the changes and stuff, I am not happy with these changes, to be honest. Uh, if I have to check out if there's any damage, I have to open each and every one of these uh, things. And it's, it's just a little bit annoying. So, um, I, I wish that was different. Because I, I got these markers here that says that I have to do something, right? But then you open it, it just says no worker. I already know that. Let's stop, stop telling me that kind of stuff. <laughs> Hello, little chicky. Can I? Can I? I'm not gonna clobber you. Where's the other? Where's your little brother? There he is. Okay, so if I, uh, I can't get out. I can't get out. Oh shit! I'm stuck in here. <laughs> no, no. Okay. Um. Okay, like that. All right, right. So there has to be a way to make these animals move out of the way, right? Uh, so there was one moment, for instance, that I was in the pigsty, okay? I was just doing my thing here, just just opening sacks and looking at the troughs and so on. And then a pig came and stood right there, right? And there was no way for me to get out because I couldn't jump. Uh, I couldn't jump out of this place and I couldn't get around him. So there has to be some way to make an animal, animal move. There has to be. because it's, it's, Otherwise, you just... You just just, I'm just waiting for my death, basically. <laughs> These animals are really stubborn to move. Like, get out of the way! Get out of the way! So if you have a stick, like a club like this one, right? You can make it move. Okay, maybe you can't. Well, I, I hurt him. He's bleeding. And all the pigs are running away? That piggy's running. Where are they going? Wait, wait, he's only over there. <laughs> I think they're running all the way to uh, to Denica. <laughs> you guys come back. It's, it was just a t um. Can I experiment on you? Are you gonna run away as well? Looks like he is. No, I think he's fine. So if I hit you on the ass, what happens? There's a pool of blood. So what is this thing for? Right? What is it for? Hello, Dagmara. Uh, don't worry, I'm not gonna use the club on you. I'm just putting it away. I was just, I was just testing on the piggies. Uh, she must be a little bit, bit pissed off at me. <laughs> I'm just running away from her before she kills me. All right, now uh, the piggies are everywhere now. Um, and they went past Palmer. Palmer, you are a horrible, horrible guard dog, basically. <laughs> uh, all right, so now uh, we have to cut down some 20 trees. Let's go do that before the end of the season. We want to get this um, this challenge done and completed, uh, and then we can move on to the next ones. So let's go chop down some 20... What what happened to that tree? What's going... Whoa. Whoa. Hello.
Why? Why? <laughs> Alright, that was weird. Alright, no worries. It's early access. Things happen. I, I just didn't expect them to launch themselves into the sky and then float back down like a bunch of feathers. <clears throat> Not entirely sure why that happened. But I, I, it's fine, I guess. Okay. Tree just dropped in my head. Um, I'm guessing that's okay. Let's just get through this, okay? Now, um, what we'll be doing is we'll we'll just be working out to this this last few this last day of the season, and then we'll get into spring. Uh, we'll go pay our taxes and uh, see what else, what kind of mischief we can get into. Okay, are you gonna float up into the sky as well, or is it just maybe the loading? Is it when the tree loads that it that this happens? I'm trying to analyze the situation, but um, yeah, <laughs> I'm not a game designer. I'm I'm not a game. Pro I'm just a programmer. I don't really know why some things happen. Um, We also need to eat some food. So I'm a bit bit hungry, but it's almost end of the season. So what happens at the end of the season is that you get all of your uh, all of your stats basically maxed out again. So you don't necessarily have to take it easy, guy. Take a breath. Take a breath. Wait, did I chop this tree? did hmm okay there's still a bit of a fall damage a fall uh, falling thingy that's missing sometimes sometimes they do fall and other times they just bounce on top of the stump and they never come down this I guess is kind of kind of realistic I guess yeah right mm, I don't know I have my doubts <laughs> all right last three there we go. Dice reputation change plus 30. Excellent. So now I would like, would like, um, it would, it'd, be, it'd be handy if they had this in the game sometime. So, so you have a bunch of, you basically, uh, you have a bunch of logs, okay? Say first you have a couple of logs in your inventory and you want to drop them, right? That's perfectly fine in this game. You can do that. No, no big deal. Can, can I? The, the, uh, the animation before this update allowed me to step on top of trees right, like this and be able to chop them for some reason it doesn't allow me to do that anymore let me, let me just see if I can uh, let's hmm let's go look for a tree like this one for instance right I can't step on it I can't step over it well th there I could but how 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 did I manage to do that Okay, so I can't get I can't get over the tree, but I can. I guess they changed that in the update. So now I have to stand next to the tree to, tr to be able to chop it. All right, that's cool. I guess it's just a little bit annoying because I um, sometimes you can walk over them like right there, and sometimes you can't bit odd anyways doesn't matter let's just drop the tree trunks the logs ba -ba 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 -bum. log I want to drop all of them please thank you there we go now he's got it's gonna roll away See, it's, it's rolling I would like to put I'd like to be able to put down a pin or something you know so they can I can stack these uh, and keep these logs from rolling away that'd be nice all right Let's go take a take a quick nap. I have to wash my hands before I go to bed. Uh, otherwise, Dagmara kicks me in, the, in my sleep, I guess. And uh, then we'll take a nap and we'll wake up and sp my piggies are still running around. Get back in the, the pig's die, you filthy animal. So, 
Do you are you actually able to kill the animals? Do you do you have to kill the animals? Let me just go take a quick nap. It's a bit dark here. All right, take a sip. All right, welcome to springtime. Ah, uh, Palmer is blocking my way. <laughs> so there are a bunch of things. Right, look, he's standing right here in the middle. So if he if he I can push him, but it's very slow, right? And then he goes right back to his spot. So, can I push you out of the garden? Can I do that? I, I would like to... No, no, okay. And then he goes right back to his spot. So he's rooted to this spot. Right? That's his spot. So it's like Sheldon, you can't move him from his spot. Uh, but okay, I guess. Alright, let's see. What do you want to do? We have to do two things. We have to repair some of the damage from the last season, because we changed seasons. Um, so we have to check out exactly which buildings are being damaged. Let's go here to the building catalog. We have uh, the hunting lodge uh, is fine. And the fishing hut is, is uh, seems to have no worker, but I, okay. The barn, no worker. Oh, we have to move some people to the barn. Let's go to here, assign Dagmara to a farmer. Uh, let's see, we want to assi assign um, Roderick to the to crop worker and we want to assign Hubert Huberta to be a crop worker as well So that way we have everybody in the barn working nicely. It's great. Good stuff. And we also we also need to Why, why did I grab this? Go away. Put it away <laughs> Let's go to the barn. Go here. Let's see. We need fertilizer not animal feed fertilizer La 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 la. Okay, there we go. And we have a lot of fertilizer. This is fertilizer that comes from manure. So let's give it a 50%. And this is fertilizer that comes from rot. It's also 50%. So we need a lot of fertilizer so we can plant all of these, these new things here. That's it. Let's see. Uh, what else can we do? Husbandry. Uh, no workers, no workers. Okay, that's great. Uh, tavern, no worker. Uh, storage hut. The resource storage hut over here is damaged. Okay. I don't see any other damage anywhere else. Right? No worker, no worker. Uh, it's only damaged. This one's only the only one that's damaged currently. Wait, where'd he go? Oh, there. That one. So we'll have to go there and get that uh, damage fixed, I guess. So what else can we do? We have... Um, we have no requests. That's a bit odd. Um, we have two requests in Gustovia. Uh, that's no, one request in Gustavia. We have two uh, things to do that. We have to go get the bear as well hunted. Let's go check, talk to this guy first. Uh, see, who who is that? That's... Um, I think they're having an argument. Kunagunda. Okay, can I help you with something? Do you want to make some crew money? Ah, uh, sure, I guess. There's a cave nearby. Uh, Alright, let's see. We need to get some iron. How much iron do we need for her? Um, iron shortage. Three iron. Okay, let's get to, let's get to, let's just give her three iron and get this over with. Uh, let's see, we have iron, iron, iron. We just need three. Except we really desperately need to get some more iron. Uh, okay, there you go. Here's the iron you wanted. Oh, wonderful. As a coin, I can get some coins as well. Yes, there we go. Got some uh, some new iron arrows. Awesome. Now the question I have is. Right. Uh, why do I have an iron spear in my inventory? I have... It's two kilos. Why, why is that in my... <laughs> why is this in my inventory? I don't want this in my inventory. Iron spear. I didn't want this... I don't, I don't want to sell it. I don't need it. I don't need this either. Um, iron hammer. I have 100% iron hammer here. We have... So what is the difference between the iron arrows and the stone arrows? Right? So, do the iron arrows, do they give more damage? They weigh more. Or it's just the numbers. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. We need to get the, the fur boots. We, oh, no, I don't want to sell it. I moved there. Let's see. I need to take it off. Because we're currently sitting in a situation. Well, I guess we are, we're still fine. Fur hood. We can turn it on. See, the numbers down here seem to change. 
What does the negative 10% mean? Negative 10% too cold? I would like to see some text here, some kind of explanation to what I'm looking at here. Because this, it says 75%, 70%, 75% what? Is that cold protection? 75% cold protection. Okay. I don't have any gloves. That might be the reason. So if I take the fur hood off, I get 50%. And then I get 5% cold. Um, Alright. Noble shoes. Um, Rustman shoes. Okay. Well, fine. So what are we, we going to do? We're going to be selling a couple of these things. Let's go and grab uh, 14 hammers. Let's grab this simple linen shirt. We want to sell that. We have a lot of manure. Heck of a lot of manure. Uh, and uh, we can also sell a, a bit of salt, I guess. It's, uh, it's quite heavy stuff. Hmm. We already have 52%. Uh, 50, 52 kilograms. So I guess we're fine now. Let's see. Um, grab our hammer. Repair. So what do we need to repair around here? Do -do 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 -do. I, don't, I don't see anything. The trouble with this management interface is that I can't really see... See, only, the only thing I see damaged here at the moment is, is, the, uh, is the resource hut, right? This one here. But um, is there anywhere else that is... anything else is damaged? No, this is damaged. Hello, piggies. <laughs> did, did I wake? Oh, hello. Alright, the piggies are gone. So this is damaged. But it doesn't say that the pig style is damaged. It says no worker. It says 78% condition is 78%. Okay, great. But the sewing had a 70%. There's no damage. Alright, so the pig style is 78%. And it is damaged. Like I'm, I'm looking at the damage, but it doesn't say that it's damaged. It says no worker. So how do I know what's damaged or not? Hello, chickies. Well, the piggies are all still running around, I guess. So I, I hit a... Oh, hello. Sorry about that. I hit a couple of these piggies, right? How do I see... The, um, cause let me go to the pig side. Let me go to the pig side. All right. So you have pig ear, pig, 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 hog, pig. Okay. Piglet. <laughs> this is a female pig. This is a male pig. All right. Uh, age is 3.25. Okay. It's great. Um, they all have no food, but I, I hit a couple of them. Does, can I actually, can, are these piggies immortal? Is there a way to kill a piggy? Cause I can, I, I can't seem to hit it with my... Um, my axe can't hit it. I can't kill it. Well, I can probably kill it with my bow and arrow, most likely. But I mm. should we give it no arrows? Okay, let's let's put the arrows in. Okay, I killed the piggy. I killed it. Let's let's skin it and let's we got ten meat out of that. That's a lot of meat. <laughs> ah, that's a lot of that's a lot of that's a lot, a lot of meat there. Let's just put that in the okay. So then, I I guess what what then what do you need the, the club for if you have to? I just, I'm just putting the meat away. Right, this is this is basically all I'm doing right now. Don't just just putting the meat away. We're all fine. So the, the what are you doing? Did I ask you to do this? I didn't, did I? I don't think I did. What what do we have here? Do we have rot? We should have a lot of rot in here. It's the 820. Let's grab this rot and move it to the. I'm carrying way too much stuff. Let's move it into here. Yeah, we still have some t some uh, some kilograms to go here before this thing is full. Let's put it in here so that she can actually start making some fertilizer because I think so. Now he's planting. He's putting the fertilizer down, right? <coughs> and and, sh and she's also putting fertilizer down. 
So they're about to start planting. It's good. So you guys do your job. Excellent. So that's that's nothing I don't have to worry about. But she, on the other hand, is making flour. I didn't ask for flour. <laughs> Let's go to the barn. Let's go to the barn. See, okay, the Roderick is a bit unhappy. That doesn't make sense. Uh, barn. Click on this thing. Click on here. Uh, fertilizer. I asked to make fertilizer. Fertilizer, fertilizer. How much is she making uh, fertilizer? She's making fertilizer. But what else is she doing? Animal feed? I, um, I don't know. Anyways. Uh, we'll, we'll get it sorted out eventually, I guess. Um, let's move all this stuff in. Why am I moving this into here? This is so stupid. All right. Anyways, uh, we'll, we'll <laughs> ah, this is so bad. You get confused so often in this game. Okay, we want to go to Veronica so we can fix the storage hut, right? And with the storage hut fixed. We can then move on to selling some of our stuff, or we can sell the stuff in in the uh, in Veronica, and then we can um, we'll look further. We'll look for, we'll look for what else we can do. I just need to I just need to fix the resource hut, and then we'll go to Gostovia, pay our uh, our taxes, and that will be fine, I guess. Yeah, we'll be good. We need to replenish our resources as well. As well, we we use up a lot of. Um, of these uh, these proper stuff here, like John's wart and stuff, and um, plantain. Ooh, ooh, hello. You guys okay? This is prime hunting territory. There's lots and lots of deer here. Oh, just make sure that you don't hit the the big wisey. <laughs> So that I, I can imagine, right? I can imagine you using or needing um, iron um, iron arrows, iron tipped arrows, to kill these guys because they have thick skin, right? They have really thick skin. So I, I in real life, I, I don't think that my my stone arrows would be able to penetrate their skin. Barn level two has been unlocked. Oh, nice! I got some more technology. Excellent. So we we got some more farming uh, stuff done. Say, okay, barn level two is up. Next thing is the fold. Perfect. Keep going, guys. <laughs> so having two people work in the barn is actually um, paying off now. Finally, it's great. That means we can um, we'll have to fold in no time. We just need to get like maybe one more season of stuff. Because if you have people working for you, right? Uh, even though they are not you, and they're doing a job that you can't do because you're doing something else, you still get their resource points. Wait, where's the... Yeah, let's go talk to her. We don't get resource points, but you get, you get the research... Why can't I jump this? Hmm, alright. I need to talk to you. So, last season, I emptied out her, her, uh, uh, her purse. She had zero coins. So now she have 1,399 coin. Okay, that's great. Let's see. I want to sell you a whole bunch of hammers. Uh, just, yeah, that's fine. 15 hammers. Here's a 700 coin. Excellent. I also want to sell you the noble shoes, which I don't really want to wear. And the simple linen shirt. So there we go. We got some, we got some more coin. Excellent. 8,369 coin. And I'm going to leave you to your things. And we're going to go over here and repair. Why am I still carrying this? And repair this hut. So now there should be some damage here. Let's see what can we see? Uh, everything seems to be green. There's a bit of red there. That's, oh, there is my. Uh, that's that's Manfred is right there. Manfred. <laughs> we don't have any sticks. Let's grab some sticks. Do 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 do. Uh, sticks. Perfect. All right, we have fixed the damage. Now, um, one of the problems I've had, okay, since the last episode, right, has been that I have seen, like, uh, my characters, these characters, for instance, get stuck. All right, like, like, 
I can't. I, I'm not sure if he's stuck, but he's floating, right? And you, you must have seen some sometimes in some of the episodes in in the in the hut. Um, my seamstress gets stuck between gets stuck between the. Oh, that was weird. He he was there and he jumped over there and then he started walking again. Well, he's doing something. He's not sure exactly what. Anyways, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. So he is working. I have a ton of stone uh, to prove that he's actually doing his thing. But I've seen him also get stuck. Now I need some way to um, to unstuck them, basically. So you've seen the, the seamstress, for instance, that she gets stuck in between her um, her sewing or not, the. the Oh, the thing that she uses to to create string, you know? Now she's been between that and her stool. She's been stuck a million times. <clears throat> and there's no way for me to get her out. Wait, it's the middle of the day. Are you guys only now getting out of the hut? What happened? It's a little bit odd. Okay, cool. Ooh, how much does a, a lamb cost? 1,800! That is the most expensive lamb. Okay, that's that's a really expensive lamb. Um, a sheep, female, one, three thousand one hundred fifty, and a ram, two thousand. Okay, so these these guys are very expensive. Three thousand and three thousand coin for these guys, the big guys, and one thousand eight hundred for the lambs. Okay, <coughs> we'll most likely buy a lamb. So that's okay. I guess we'll just be doing that instead. Hello, hello, hello. So anybody here want to live in my village? Anybody of any v uh -huh, you over here, Gustawa? You have a funny name. Uh, hey, do you have a minute? How have you been lately? Look at plus ten. Nice. All right, let's go. Hey, have a minute. Um, any any gossip? Plus five. Ooh, nice. Excellent. She likes to gossip as well. How have you been? Lately? Great. All right now we have her, <coughs> Gustawa, at level seventy-seven. Uh, available for the for the village so that we can bring her back we need to get some more people so we can fill out the barn and get everybody working in the barn and I, I need that I need people to work in the barn because we want to have um, as many of these people working now we also need to get some berries so now berries you can't you can still you can sell them but they they sell for like 0 0.01 cent whatever right it's, it's a ridiculously low number but you can get a thousand of these berries, right? And you can just drop them off in your in your uh, storage hut and let them rot. And um, the good thing about it is that they they then turn you can turn that into um, into fertilizer, which is an easy way to get fertilizer. You just simply have to let it, let it rot. And it's basically just two seasons, uh, three. Well, no, it's about basically a year, and then it's done. <laughs> and then you have for a thousand. You have like a hundred uh, fertilizer, and that that will fertilize all of your fields. All of my fields will be fertilized with that stuff. That's what I'm doing now as well. The manure is great, right? The manure is great, but you need to have pigs. You need to have you need to feed them all this stuff, and then you can get some manure. It's also awesome as well, but uh, it's just it's just not as efficient or as eff uh, effective as the berries. So I just get 600 berries, 700 berries. Uh, dump that in my storage hut and then I just leave them there. Wait, did we go past it? No, we're almost there. We're almost there. And then we just, I just leave it in there and get some rot. Um, it's always like 700 rot and stuff. And then you can, you can just, you can use that as fertilizers. It's just turn it into fertilizers. It's, it's a quick and simple. <laughs> you, just, you just spend like five minutes getting, getting 600, 700 uh, berries. And then you just move it into the resource hut. And you leave it. You don't. Even, you don't even look back at it. There's no. There's no difference between uh, a large food meal like uh, pottage or stew rotting, and one berry rotting. So one berry is equivalent to one full meal of rot. <laughs> I guess it's just, it's it's, it's a similar stuff to that. And I guess it's. There must be a reason for it, but that's what I've I've figured out. It's 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 an easy way to get fertilizer. What are you guys looking at? Oh, just act normal. He's he's here, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Why are they all staring? Okay, let me, let me go stand with you guys. I'm gonna stand with you guys. Let's see, what are we looking at? Is, are we, is there a cameraman here? Is this candid camera? No? Is, um, okay, well, we're fine, I guess. Let's talk to, uh, to this guy. Wait, why does it say... Oh, yeah, because I killed a piggy. That's right. Ungust. Yes, I'm here to pay my taxes. Here you go. Splendid. So, how much tax did I pay? Zero? No. <laughs> I paid 2,000... Uh, 200 and something tax. Uh, that gives me now almost 6,000 of uh, coin left. Uh, it's all good. Um, perfectly fine. So what do we? What can we do here? We need somebody. Somebody over here needs some help. This person here needs help. Now, I'm pretty sure that I know what they're gonna ask. But, uh, ooh, geese. So a. Uh, a goose, female goose, costs 1,300, and a gander, a male uh, goose, costs 1,350 as well. But how much does the the gosling cost? 675. Okay, so the goslings are what you want to have, I guess, if you have the time to let them grow. Let's check inside. So this is how they get set up. So they have a whole bunch of nests. Oh, nice. And. Um, they spend the night in there, I guess. They grow. Nice. Alright, let's see. What do we need? Where is this guy? Um, wait, did, did, uh, there was somebody out here, right, that needed our... <laughs> did he move? There he is. How come we can't see him? Oh, there he is. Edwin. You have some weak knees, Edwin. Alright, Edwin. What can I help you with? I'm really hungry. Could we bring you some ingredients for some nice food? I'll be really grateful. Sure, I can do that. So this is a new quest. It's a lavish meal. The lavish meal quest. Okay, that, that one is flour. I have to give him 10 flour? And it gives me 300 crafting. Hmm. Now, I have 10 flour. Or oh, did I sell all my flour? I think I sold all my flour. Um... So for this, I get 15 dice of reputation and 300 crafting. Okay. There's a ladder here. Can I go up the ladder? Can I use this? I don't think I can. Can I can I make a ladder? Let's see furniture decoration. Let's see, can I? No. No. That's a table. No, I don't, I don't think I can make a ladder. And then, what 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 do we use a ladder for? Can we... Hmm, I don't think we can make... Cause you, you can make some of these huts, right? Like, for instance, here. Right? Uh, some of these buildings have a loft. So if you had a ladder, you could get up there. But I don't really see the reason for, I guess. There's nothing in here either. Everything that you could have, possibly, is in this one chest. That chest. So there's no other animations or visual interpretation or visual style or something else that shows that this storage hut is full of stuff. It's, it's actually kind of empty. But the chest might be completely full. Anyways, let's... Uh, we need to get some ten flour. Let's go. Can we? Can we? Can we buy ten flour? Let's see, um, there's supposed to be somebody, a lady. Mm, I don't think you sell flour. No. Ooh, cool. Look at a wheat beer, beer bottle, hop, mead bottle, wine bottle. Ooh, I like all this honeycombs. Berry wine, berry juice, apple juice. <laughs> I can't wait to get this this beer stuff getting getting that done, I'm getting it started with that. That'll be awesome. So Adelina, we gotta talk to Adelina. Hello, Adelina. I am sorry to have to interrupt your romantic discussion with this guy. He's making hand gestures. She's shaking her. She agrees with something that he said. And. She's trying to explain why she doesn't want his uh, advances. He doesn't seem happy. He's gonna punch her. 
<laughs> I don't know. Yeah, let me, uh, don't look at me. I'm just here for fun. Okay, let's see. We need 10 of this. So we need to give her 90 coin. Get 10, 10 flour. All right, I'll go now. Bye-bye. Wait, 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 wait. I see something. I see something. I saw something new. Ha! <laughs> I want to see this. this. <gasps> Apple seedlings. Oh, cherry seedlings, hop seedlings, pear, plum. Oh, oh, this is so good. Um, I, I can, we can plant hop. It's freaking expensive, though. 450 coin. <laughs> Apple seedlings, 324. Cherry, 200. Oh, wow. This is, this is, okay, well, you only need one tree, I guess, and you get a whole bunch of fruit from that. I do. That is something cool. But my guess is that um, it'd be cheaper just to build the apiary, so you get the the the, uh, the bees. I want geese. I want geese. So we we'll, we'll we'll try and get the geese in the next episode. Where's where's Edwin? There's Edwin. Hey Edwin! Don't run away from me, Edwin. Come back here. Here's the food you wanted. Oh, thank you so much. I can show you a little bit about crafting as a way of thank you. Sounds good. Lavish meal is completed. Okay, excellent. So now we have that done as well. All right, so that's good. So we have a couple more uh, more points. I think in skill, I think. I think it's in skill. Yeah, crafting skill. Um, am I am I going to get some more points? How many points do I have? Talent points to spend zero. But I I don't. S I'd like to see. How far I am, how much I've accumulated at the moment. So here, it says zero, four, okay. It's 4,400, sorry, 418 out of 750. All right. And here, 427 out of 2,000. Whoa, okay, I need way more points here. <laughs> Skill farming increases the chance of an additional collected crop or vegetable to work by 25%. All right, now the the question I have with this, right? I was checking out this, this, this is as well. Is what does this mean? So if I were to pick um, a carrot out of the field, so this guy's planting like I don't know what he's planting wheat. Okay, if I was to harvest the wheat, would that mean I would get an additional wheat, or do I get a completely different vegetable out of that? <laughs> so I collect wheat and uh, a carrot, for instance. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But we'll get it done. We'll get it done eventually, right? Okay. Now, um, that's it for this episode. Um, <clears throat> we'll be we'll be getting back to our village and getting ready for the next part, uh, which is of course geese. Uh, we'll be uh, building. Wait, why are there geese here? You built your house, your geese thing, Majiggy, right next to your house. Well, that's nice. So they all cost the same. They all cost the same. So it doesn't matter where you are. Geese just cost the same. It's the same, same style hut. Everything's the same. Adelina. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, that's fine, I guess. Anyways, if you enjoyed the episode, leave a uh, hello. Leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. It's fine. Uh, leave some comments in the in the bottom uh, if you know how to kiss, kill a, a piggy, for instance, <laughs> with this club. Uh, if you are supposed to use the club, to, to what, what is the club for? Is that just to move creatures out of the way? You know? Is that the reason why you have a club? So you can move them out of the way and then you don't have to... Because let's see, if I can, I can, I can't make a club, right? So if I don't have a club in my inventory, I can get stuck. I can get stuck with this pig in the door. <laughs> I guess the club does help by moving them a little bit. It doesn't kill them. It just, it just stuns them a little bit. So they, they run off, I guess. It's pretty handy. And then you can hit them in the head with a bow and arrow. And then just harvest them if you have too many piggies. Anyways, um, I'm going to leave it at this. It's fine. I think the new graphics card is working great. 
I will tell you about it in the next episode. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what happened. It's a, it's a funny story. <laughs> Anyways, have a great weekend. See you next time. Bye-bye.